Today on the show, we're talking about living healthy in a pandemic. What should people be eating now? to stay healthy and help them fight the virus. I keep talking about, you know, boosting your immunity and not waiting until you have a health scare. Now, having said this, I'm not saying that, you know, if you have, it's the people with like broken down immunities that are more susceptible to catching this disease. That's okay. not what I'm saying. Okay. But what I'm saying is if for any reason you even catch this coronavirus, your, your body is able to fight it better if your immunity is on point. And this is something that we should have been doing from day one. one. Now, some say if I'm eating, as long as I'm working out, I'm fine. And some have said, I don't need to work out. Once I'm eating right, I'm fine. So, Eric Brown, what do you have to say about that? You have to watch what you, you don't say because you work out, then you go and start eating. What, what will happen to you is this. The muscle, for instance, you know, requires some level of protein okay mm. if you're into building muscle mm. then if you're also looking for lean muscle for instance so you you have to balance it with carbohydrate mm. okay you balance it so you get you know well, um, the lean muscles you're looking for but if you if you now say oh because i'm working I'm, I'm working out two times a day because you're working out you don't just let yourself go you don't just go eating whatever you like because it's going to show do maybe Agbakoba joins us right now on Skype. For those people who are at home right now, what should they be eating right to help them combat the virus? Mm. If you drink 10 glasses of um, Fanta a day, cut back and swap. Do five glasses of water and your five glasses of Fanta. When you're ready, you will wean yourself down from all the unhealthy things that you do so that you know, you can now have a healthier perspective. Mm. And that's pretty much what I would suggest to anybody in this, you know, period of being at home. There are some people that are walking around that are very slim, mm -hmm. but are actually very, very unhealthy. So I know that you're saying, oh, don't talk about it. We're not just talking about whether it's healthy or not. Mm. It's left to you to decide what you want to look like. Mm. Are you eating healthy? If you are not, you will get to a certain point where <laughs> your body is, you know, extremely tiny, but you are low on energy. You are mm. tired all the time. You, are, you, are, you, you suffer from insomnia. Even mental health issues. People suffer from something called body dysmorphia. So okay. you see yourself in the, in the mirror mm. and you may actually be a size zero, for example, but what you see is a very big person. You may need therapy for that, actually. The How people, do people, people get to that point? So it's a mental health issue. Okay. I actually just finished a mental health webinar that I did for free yesterday with over mm -hmm. about a thousand, more than a thousand people registered for this webinar. So weight loss and mental health actually go hand in hand. And this is where exercise actually comes into play also. Mm -hmm. So how you lose the weight is very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, and how you also view yourself is very important because otherwise c comparison is the thief of joy. You mm -hmm. see yourself in the mirror, you think, oh my God, I still don't look like your, you know, these people, body goals, everybody's body goals on social media, <laughs> we have different body goals, yeah. you know, so as opposed to focusing on, oh, body goals, body goals, focus on, are you healthy? Mm. Are you in the right frame of mind? Mm. And this brings me back to trying to work out. Like um, he said, it doesn't even have to be a gym, but there's something I've been hammering on for the past few weeks. And it's happy hormones, happy hormones, you know, how to um, help your body release more happy hormones, you know, okay. dopamine, um, oxytocin, um, serotonin and endorphins. And exercise is a fantastic way to do this mm. and keep your mental health in order. So even in this season of lockdown, social distancing, isolation, for the person who is extremely skinny but sees themselves as a big person, mm. you know, there are little things that you would do to improve your mental health because there's no way you shouldn't be a size zero, for example, and you mm. still see yourself as somebody who is morbidly obese there's something wrong somewhere when it comes to losing weight or you know gaining weight they've always there's always something that regards uh, eating in between meals you're seated your kitchen is just a few steps away how can people still have snacks and stay healthy all the other classes of food are important mm. because it's not just starch 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 you know our immune system has to be very strong at this point in time we need a lot of fruits yeah, we need to cut across all the classes of food Make sure you're eating for your mood. Um, even things as little as turkey, you know, e including turkey in your diet would help your body produce tryptophan. And tryptophan would actually help with stress and anxiety. Anything to reduce your stress levels and anxiety levels in this season is what you need. People should eat based on their mood. Do you agree with that? It depends on you and, as an individual because okay. what goes into my body system is definitely different from you know, how your own body reacts to it. Okay. Number one, you have to know your body type. You have to know mm. your body system. You have to know what works for you. I hear people say things like, I don't drink beer, you know, it makes people have big belly, but 
you know, if you take things like spirits of vodkas and the likes, it helps to even burn fat faster. Raising a bottle of beer up and down is their own exercise. But, if, but, but eventually, when they, when they tested the real exercise, you know, they, they saw the difference okay. and, you know, they, they, they cut down on the alcohol. Now, I'm not saying people who alcohol, but you can, you can cut down on it okay. so you'll be able to get the result. Now, per gram of alcohol, you have approximately seven calories. So it's even a, it's a, it's a cab that's in a different league of its own. So what shall it profit a man to say, oh, I've reduced the amount of times that I fry my plantain, but you're constantly drinking alcohol and you're on a weight loss journey. It's not going to help in any shape or form. So there's no bad alcohol and good alcohol. There's nothing like bad and good alcohol. Although some researchers and scientists are showing that, you know, a glass of red wine, a glass or mm -hmm. two of red wine um, on a weekly basis is good for you. If you're trying to lose weight, there is no alcohol that's going to burn your fat. None mm. in any shape or form whatsoever. And like I always say, if being overweight causes you discomfort, like mm. it caused me, for me, it caused me discomfort because my eating habits were extremely off track. And even these days, trees can be uprooted and mm -hmm. replanted. <laughs> if you need help with being uprooted and replanted, then <laughs> I'm your go-to person. Okay, thank you very much.